Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City Lockdown Lab. Today we are looking at the latest Master Sounds Radius 4 and the Radius 2. Now, this may look familiar to you if you've been a regular viewer of the channel for a while, and there's a good reason for that. Let's get to it. I often refer you to my past reviews when I'm talking about new versions of hardware, and that's certainly going to be the case here. In fact, it's essential because I'm barely going to talk about what this mixer does in this video at all. I reviewed the first generation of Radius 4 back in June of 2017, and the really interesting thing about the latest version is not that it has new exciting features or upgrades, but that it is, on the whole, the same as the earlier ones. Why is that interesting? because the third generation is almost £400 cheaper than the first one at £1,089. Master Sounds are a UK company, so I'll be giving all prices in pounds sterling here. The price drop is even more significant on the two-channel Radius 2, which now at £799 has broken comfortably below the £1,000 barrier. That makes the new Radius models the most affordable mixers which Master Sounds have ever made, and as far as I know, there is only one manufacturer making rotaries below that pricing, the budget-minded Omnitronic. I actually wanted to test the Radius 2 this time around, as I did the 4 last time, and the pricing of the 2 is so remarkable, but it arrived during lockdown, and the only place I could really use it was on live streams, and I needed a mic input, so the 4 it had to be. As with the older models, that's the only actual difference between the two, a pair of extra channels, both switchable between phono, line and mic. As I've already said, if you want to know more about how these mixers work, go and watch my original Radius 4 review. Everything here is the same, the rotaries, the high pass filter on each channel, the inputs, the outputs, the effects loop, it really is identical. So why is the third generation price so much lower? It's all about efficiency of manufacture. The guys behind Master Sounds have engineered new techniques to build the radius, in-house, in the UK as always, in more efficient ways, like keeping the same phono stages but simplifying the post-fader circuitry and adjusting the PCB board shapes to make assembly faster. Now, I wasn't able to test the third generation against an earlier model, of course, but after my testing, I can say this. The lower-priced Radius remains a mixer of the utmost build and sound quality. The phono preamps are gorgeous, the controls smooth and precise. Every part just oozes the care and attention that has been put into it. And whilst you're still paying a fairly substantial sum to get that kind of quality, it's a lot less than it used to be, and a lot less than most other boutique rotaries on the market. The bang for your buck here is, all around, pretty astonishing. So there you go, my take on the new generation of Radius mixers from Master Sounds. I really don't have anything to add to the existing review that I did two years ago. I, I just don't, right? It's the same product, but now it's more affordable. That's it. It sounds as good. It's made as well as it was before, but it's cheaper. What What can you say? Like, they've just they've pulled it out of the bag. Absolutely. It makes it more accessible than it's ever been, and that's what I really like about Master Sound stuff. They they are accessible. Like, none of it is, like, scary. They, they're, their public persona is quite friendly and open, and I like that. You know, I don't like this kind of real niche stuff that goes on sometimes in the rotary world this you know master sounds are trying to get great sound a great performance out to people make it accessible and i absolutely respect that one anecdote to give you about the radius right i've been doing these live streams house and techno every week from this room and obviously sound quality it's all getting knocked down to go out to a live stream you're encoding at a fairly low bit rate by comparison with what you hear in the room but nonetheless you can hear the difference between different bits of hardware. You definitely can. And I've been lucky enough to be using some fantastic mixers. The DJM V10 from Pioneer DJ, the Zone 96, the Rain 2015, and the Radius 4, the new generation. I used that one on a stream as well. And during that stream, one of my viewers, the Twitch fam, I won't say which one and embarrass them, but they actually asked me seriously whether there was some kind of auto bass swap on the Master Sounds Radius 4 because they couldn't get over just how smooth the blends sounded on that mixer. And remember, that's going through, you know, a streaming output. And they were just, they couldn't get their head around how good it sounds 
when you've got two sources running together on the Radius 4. And I just had to point out, that is what great summing is. That is what incredible audio performance sounds like, because that's what, for me, the master sounds mixers always get so right. It's the summing. It's what the mixer sounds like when you're playing two or more sources together, whether that be vinyl or digital. The way it all just comes together, it's like nothing else. It's absolutely fantastic. And there are a lot of great rotary mixers out there, some far more expensive, some a bit more expensive. And yeah, I think the master sounds for me, they're always a solid recommend. Whenever people ask me about getting their first rotary mixer, I generally just say master sounds because I know the sound is great, the build is great, and they get great tech support as well, you know, a great company to kind of deal with. So overall, yes, I'm thoroughly recommending the Radius. For me, the Radius is the one in the line that I prefer. I prefer that over the 4V because I prefer the high pass filter over the EQs, but that's up to you. You make your mind up which one you want to go for. You will not go wrong with one of these mixers. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.